H bar broke above a key resistance level and if that sounds interesting to you make sure to continue watching this video. For those of you that are in the telegram channel i hope you guys are enjoying it as we are growing exponentially but for those of you that haven't joined yet make sure to check out the link in the bio as i'm giving all my insights and my trades in the channel for free hey guys big charts here welcome back to another h bar analysis video as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 dollars bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio now as you guys can see on h bar yesterday we were testing our exponential moving averages and we saw a beautiful retest opportunity at 0.05 seven you can see that as of right now we have broken above this level with a very strong bullish aspect and i did mention to you guys because of the fact that we were still holding above our 20 exponential moving average things were obviously still bullish as of right now though we have broken above this level and looking at previous price analysis you can see that we are almost done completing our massive move set i mentioned the fact that if h bar can break above the 0.057 level we could be looking for a wick going all the way up to 0.064 before finally seeing a stronger pullback opportunity as of right now though it's going to be very important to see whether or not h bar actually uses this 0.057 level as support because as we know we've seen this level multiple times being retested and we always see a massive bearish formation and a larger pullback opportunity in terms of a fake out looking at the rsi though on the four hour time frames you can see that we are in extreme overbought conditions so we have to be very very careful here i've told you guys this time after time as well as in the telegram chat that as long as we remain above these exponential moving averages there's absolutely no reason to be looking for a shorting position you can see that pretty much everyone that was trying to short this massive move to the upside got pretty much wrecked every time because this is why we use these two indicators specifically this allows us to know the fact that as long as we remain above these emas using them as support we are having a continuation pattern right now though of course this is looking very extreme in terms of a opportunity to the upside so i would be very careful looking for a continuation long until we get a stronger pullback to the downside in terms of downside pullback i am keeping a very close eye on the 0.045 level for those of you that have been watching my videos you guys already know the reason why the 0.05 level of course it doesn't really mean much to me is because we have already tested this level three times and this is going to be the fourth test opportunity usually on the fourth test we tend to see a breakdown formation but of course in terms of a bullish case scenario we could just continue seeing a ladder case going all the way up to 0.073 this is the next area of resistance that we will have to keep an eye on and of course i mentioned this to you guys many times that this whole rally was a very hated rally i would have liked to of course see a second and third test retest opportunity down here at 0.03 but we never really saw that second and third test we only saw a one test pop opportunity and then the continuation which of course was a beautiful zone to actually look for a long position because it was a very strong daily support on the hourly time frame, we can go ahead and look exactly what happened. So yesterday, we retested this area as resistance, saw a beautiful fake out opportunity, and then the continuation. But you can see that we pretty much got right back into that zone, started to use these exponential moving averages as support. But this was the main factor right now. You can see that the level of 0.057 actually held as support. We saw multiple retest opportunities before finally breaking above. And this is the key when you guys are trading. And I have taught you guys this many times. When you break above a crucial resistance point and use that level of support, that's usually your indicator that we are continuing looking for a long position and not to look for those counter trade options. In terms of the daily time frame, you can see that this was a massive manipulation wick. We had the same wick that i talked about yesterday which was a gravestone doji but usually when you have a gravestone doji you want to see it followed by another bearish engulfing candle instead we saw a bullish engulfing candle and a massive move to the upside and the reason why we had such a large push upwards i feel is because we had a great short squeeze 
a lot of traders got greedy and started entering those positions hoping for the fact that we will continue pushing on down but instead h bar had an explosive move once again looking at the rsi though you can see that we are in extreme overbought conditions but yesterday we actually managed to test our exponential moving average which i did mention should be tested sooner or later but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful day